kings and queens. We're back for episode four. Hear this. 27 people, 12 countries, eight shows, all for one day. Hey guys, so as you know, we're working towards this world tour in 2020. This period for us is so busy. Literally, you know when all work has to stop and everything has to focus on that. Like for Christmas day, I hope you guys had a great one. We had like a massive, I know it was like a rave, like a Christmas rave. I had to go to bed early, you know, because we were opening Harrods 2018 winter sale. They had set up like a big stage. They had the whole crowd out there. And let me tell you something, we turn up, say what? <laughs> So let me tell you, yeah, it is so humbling seeing how much the company's grown kind of in this relative short period of time. I was dreaming and visualizing traveling, doing shows, whatever it is. So for the company to grow to this point where we've got so many shows out, oh man, it's, it's incredible, it's incredible. Um, So our team, we went to Barbados. We were performing at a five diamond hotel called Sandy Lane. And um, the show was incredible, man. Like the whole journey, Um, the team, flames and fire. Track. No, you're not on that track, hun. Well, guess what, though, babe? What? You're definitely on the tour. You're definitely on the tour, baby! You're definitely on the tour! <laughs> so our team went on a cruise. My first cruise, your 19th cruise? Nah, 20th. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> the sea was tumultuous. Like, um, at one point, we felt like we was going to fall out of the cabin, innit? Into the engineering bay. Yeah. That's all I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a show. The three shows that we had to do back to back went down a treat for us and the audience. And um, yeah. How did you find performing on the stage, Joe? Bro? bro, it was like, have you seen Funhouse? Yeah, yeah, back in the day, yeah, bro. <laughs> Adventure. And it's a challenge actually doing this level of choreography mm -hmm. where the ship is, the where the ship is skank and sweet. Skank and sweet. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> wanna be there. So my team was scheduled to be performing on New Year's Eve in the paradisical Caribbean island of St. Bart's. But first we had to travel from London Heathrow to Paris. Our plane was delayed from Heathrow to Paris and we had to transfer from Paris to St. Martin's and we missed our transfer. So now we have to be put up in a BNB in Paris and wait another day until we fly out. Now, bear in mind, if we had flown that day, we'd have had a nice 24 hours to chill before our show on New Year's Eve. But we actually get from Paris to St. Martin five hours before our show. Then we have to fly in this tiny little aircraft for 15 minutes from St. Martin to St. Bart. So this is the plane, guys. Look. This is the smallest plane I've ever been on in life. Smallest plane ever. <laughs> We then get transferred to this mega yacht with literally two hours to perform. What is going on here? I can't be bothered until we get to my room. <laughs> We've done it. New Year's is done. We're ready to go. And another member loses his passport. It was so, so mad. Thankfully, we made it home safely. But it was a saga that we'll always remember. And that's how HTG roll, baby. That's how HTG roll. HTG! So our last team, the Soul Sisters, they also were on a cruise. They left London, went to the Cayman Islands, Cuba, Mexico, and then Belize. Where are we performing on, on this bit here? Oh, 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 oh,
the first thing we wanted to address here is that we definitely missed an episode. That definitely happened. Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna do an episode every week, Tuesday, 5 p.m. Third episode doesn't come out. The first episode was definitely Christmas Day. Yeah, Christmas Yeah, the day. first time. The next one was New Year's Day. None of us were in the country. <laughs> Not one of us. And like, we actually sat down, we came in, had a meeting, and just done like a bunch of planning. What we achieved is we have in place a much better system. And then the last thing to say is the key takeaway. I think sometimes you make a commitment to do stuff and of course it is you want to honour your word. Do you understand that? Releasing the episode. But I mean, I definitely felt that the episode would not have been as good as it could be if yeah. we just put it out. Yeah. So I feel like sometimes just admitting it is that you've taken on too much, stopping mm. for a minute, getting your stuff done and then yeah. going again. That's always a winner, man. Because it's one thing to honor your word, but acting with integrity means that you can change what it is you're doing as long as you let everyone know mm. that yeah. the plan has changed and everyone's on board. For real, and that's real. So yeah. we appreciate you guys being patient <laughs> with us. Thank you lot so much for all your comments and messages. You've been gassing me up. No, seriously, thank you lot so much. <laughs> Just so you know, yeah, all of our social media, it's in the description and in the caption. So please go and follow the team. Um, This is our social media, Flames and fire that's what we deal with what am i saying flames, flames and, and fire, fire. <laughs>